What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we've got another PAX game here. The game is called Drone Swarm. It's where you and your flagship are trying to defend yourself with nothing but 32,000 drones. And as you can tell, the graphical styling is really, really cool. You can use the drones to make shields. You can use the drones to make like a hand that throws things around. It looks like it's gonna be a pretty sweet ass sci-fi game. Uh, so I figure we'll check it on out today. We'll spend about 30 minutes uh, with this PAX demo showcase version. We'll decide how we feel about it a little bit and then we'll wait for the final release. Let's dive on in and see what's going on. What do I want this to be? Uh, we'll call it Splat. There we go. Sounds good. January 21st, 2111, the day the sphere appeared in our orbit. We were not ready. Out of options, we unleashed every nuke we had. We only succeeded in destroying our own planet. The last remnants of Earth tried to resist. So did my brother and I, until that one fateful day, when he subconsciously transferred his soul into a drone. Turns out, Aiden was the key. Because of him, Eva sensed our way out. Through the sphere, she initiated the Great Sacrifice. 32,000 human psionics merged their soul into the swarm that day. Now ours to command, we use the swarm to rebuild. But it was too late. Earth was lost. Eva studied the sphere with her powers and found a way to build our first interstellar ship, the Argo. Powered by the sphere, protected by the swarm. But power attracts power, and the four were drawn to the energy of the sphere. Some say we should have died along with our planet. I say, this is our chance to start anew. My name is Carter, captain of the Argo and we will find new earth yeah just a just a quick just a quick just a quick observation maybe we don't want to call the bad guys the vor we just sent to the new cluster and already scan captain i hope we find a suitable planet fast earth is running out of time we need a new home all right so apparently we can in get dude i would do that if i could be like a giant so if i could transfer my consciousness into a swarm of 32,000 drones that would be my new fingers and toes. I think I'd be down for it, man. Especially if I got like a psionic robot voice so I could be like, I am Trapper Keeper. You know, like I would be down with that. Like I'd be totally okay with that situation. I would give up my corporeal flesh, my flesh prison in order to do that. Oh, that was crazy. Another All right, what's happening here? The Argo. Cease fire, we come in peace. No response, Captain. Battle stations. All right, I'm going to my station of bat. Yes, attack them. Attack! How do I attack? Apparently, I can draw an attack path. Okay, attack path. Oh, that was super awesome. Ripping them apart. Oh, I enjoyed that way more than I should have. Yeah, just keep throwing more drones. Yeah, dude, more drones. Yes, I am a god. Remember, Carter, you can use the swarm defensively as well. This is why you can't give me even an iota of power. You see how, do you see how fast? We are, we are four minutes and 15 seconds into this video and I was given control of a swarm of 32,000 drones like 45 seconds ago. And it took me that long to go from just a normal, humble human being that lives in humble means and tries not to be materialist to I am a god. That's how fast it happened. Did you see that transition? That should worry you. <laughs> That's called a warning sign. Oh, yes, let's do... Oh, haha, <laughs> I block your damage, scum. The Xenos underestimated us. Dude, that's so badass. Careful, Captain, they may punch through the wall. Yeah, I don't care about that. I'm going to punch through my own wall and murder them in the face first. Yup, we're gonna go like that right there, and then we're gonna come back around. Oh, we're gonna loop them. Yup. Oh, no, dude, they made it through my dronies. Joni the Droney, no, put up a new shield. Backup shield. Oh, never mind. Okay, I cancel all your orders. Sorry, guys. More incoming. No problem for me. Yes, I apologize. That's my bad. You guys can come back and hang out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna need like shields, and then I'm gonna need you guys. 
to do like some gangster stuff like that right there. Oh no, dude, I missed. Oh, everything about this is terrible. I don't like this at all. Oh no, dude. Yeah, kill him. He's the first one that like needs to, oh my God, just kill him. Yeah, there you go. Just take them out. Yes, all of that right there. I, I don't feel good about what's happening right now. They So dealing with my enemy threats in linearities makes this really complicated. Maybe I match their trajectory and get them like that. There we go. That seemed to work a little bit better. Uh, give me, yeah, I'm going to call you guys back and like give me some shields right there just in case. And then what we're going to do is you guys are going to come out. You're going to hit him. And then you're going to turn around and you're going you're gonna to take out that guy's mom. There you go. Just, yeah, take his mom out in front of him. We're fighting, a, we're, we're fighting a war of morale right now. And so all alien moms must be sacrificed to the great human throne. That That's right, you filthy Xenos. I don't feel particularly welcome. Like, do we have precautions in order? That, like, make sure that these things don't gray goo out on us and just, like, annihilate everything? Like, we're not in inadvertently destroying the galaxy right now, are we? Have we crossed a line that mortals weren't meant to tread? I don't know, dude. I, I'm a scientist that deals with rocks, okay? The ethical ramifications of rocks are so much simpler than the ethical ramifications of binding people's human souls to machines, all right? All right, so one day since we left Earth, uh, we've got Crater over here and we've got Threshold. What is this right here? So first steps into an unknown part of the galaxy. Let's do it. Dong first. We got this. Yep, it's time to put them on the glass. Tell those aliens to feast your eyes. Captain, there's already someone here. Sensors are showing it's the same type of ship that attacked the Argo back at Earth. <laughs> he just messed yeah, up. <laughs> he just wandered into the wrong neighborhood. I hate to tell you him. Are in full territory. Leave or be fired upon. This is bad news, Captain. We cannot leave without scanning the system. Okay, so like scan the system more gooder. Like, I'm just going to cut that guy in half real fast with with my robot wing. Because that's really what we're conjuring here. Yeah, do two of them right there. X this guy out. Yup, that's how we do it. That's how we kill aliens out here for human supremacy. All right, let's defend ourselves. Threat, then. That's it? Could have been worse. All right, we got some enemies coming on in. Probably set up like a defensive shield like right there. Another one like right there. Kind of make like a little maze that they got to mess around with. All right. So they're firing missiles at me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and draw a line through you. Yeah, just kind of like do what you're going to do, bro. Exactly. Just focus on one target at a time. And then I'll summon them back. We'll put out another wall right there just to refresh it a little bit. And then we're just going to... Yeah, dude. Look how many, I've got drones down here that it's listing for him. Dude, that looks so badass. I cannot describe to you, like, how well they have done with the graphics of this game and just making it feel almost like a mechanical, biological creature. Let's do what we came for and leave. Like, the way that they fold back when you click on the shield, it feels organic, even though deep down you know it's not. Scan that planet right there. Can we absorb it and turn it into more drones? This candidate planet's atmospheric gas composition is not suitable to sustain human life. Eva reports that the sphere, however, has unlocked more of its secrets when exposed to this particular location. And can we also talk about that animation at the beginning? Like, that was a professional comic book artist, wasn't it? Like, that's somebody that's done other stuff because that comic quality was, like, up there with some of, like, the Green Lantern, like, the mainline first-party DC comics that I've seen. Like, they look really, really good. All right, we left Earth. That's pretty sweet. Oh, we get skill points, too. Nice. All right, so things are happening here. We've got tech rewards. It looks like it's threat level one. I don't care. Let's go kill some more aliens, dude. They wiped out our entire planet. I'm all out of mercy. We're not going to stop until the Vor beg us, and even then, we're probably going to consume their planet into a massive drone swarm even larger than the one we already have. Aw, they shouldn't have. All right. Let's do it. We're going to engage. Give me a shield out here. This is the Argo. We're here to scan the system. Oh, I came out a little aggressive. Nothing else. But we will defend ourselves. You are trespassing without permission of our Empress. 
We cannot tolerate that. I'm under the impression that this will become a running theme with these four aliens. Dude, I don't care about you're like you're a thumb knuckle looking bastard, dude. I don't care about you. I'm about to wipe you out for all the human children that will never get a chance to go to college and enjoy adventure time. Uh yeah, I'm gonna need another shield right there. I may have made a bad mistake right there. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need some shields. There we go. Let's just go ahead and finish him off. There we go. Just, you know, a little bit more damage on out. Am I replicating my own drones from the disembodied parts of these ships? I think it's a valid question. Mm, yep. Yep. Oh, no, dude. They came in from, like, everywhere. Yeah, let's go ahead and just kind of, like, keep that right there. I'm going to go ahead and call that back real fast. And then we're just going to kill you off. And then, like, we'll maybe kill you off. And then, like, where are these other guys at? Oh, they're over there. Okay, yeah, give me another shield then. Because I'm going to need some kind of comeuppance to hit these guys. Yeah, there you go. Kill him. Exactly. Uh, and then you guys, yeah, just kind of come out here. 4,000, 5,000. Peel off a couple. You know, we'll have ourselves, like, a little drone cookout out here. Exactly. Look how dead you are. And then I put up a new shield right there. I blocked that one. We draw a few more. Actually, I was wondering how the drone control was actually going to work from watching the trailers for this. And it works really well and, like, really organically. Like, I'm super happy with the way that it controls. It feels very tactile. Like, you just have to hit one key, and then you draw what you want. And then you hit another key for offense, you draw what you want. It just, it works great. And, in fact, I could actually see the possibilities of putting this on tablets and whatnot, too, that you could just control with your finger. Uh, planet's magnetic field makes it unsuitable for life. We found a strange energy reading that tripped up some of the sphere's memory banks, though. So we got swarm XP. It's pretty badass, dude. I do want my swarm to become more experienced at the murder of the filthy Xenos that came and took our planet from us. The Emperor was right. There is only the purge remaining. Dude, we wiped him out pretty good right there. I'm feeling pretty good about our decision. Oh, dude, we can cannonball him? Yes! Okay, we're gonna... Oh, that looks so cool. So press and hold with your kinetic skill to amass drones into a ball and then release it in a direction to apply impulse. Oh my god, this is so awesome! This is so awesome! I'm very, very happy with the, the general gameplay idea that this game is presenting right now. If they mix it up with, like, RPG and, like, roguelite mechanics, I may have found my new love. Asteroid field. If we carefully push it towards the Argo, we might be able to retrieve it. Its structural integrity is decaying. Best not to waste any more time, then. Like, how do I push it? Okay, so we got our kinetic ability. Oh. Can I push myself? I cannot push myself. Okay, I thought maybe I could push myself the same way. Alright, so we'll go back over here. We've got it right there. They're going to amass, and we got to let it charge up. There we go. Don't hit the asteroid. Don't hit the asteroid. Oh, it hit the asteroid. Not great. Not perfect. Uh, Would have very much preferred that it not hit the asteroid. Let's maybe wait for this to slow down first. I'm going to wait for it to kind of, like, settle. Because i got to charge this thing up for a long time, so I don't want to, like, pre-target on accident. Okay, so now we just gotta let it drift. Let it drift. Here we go. Let it drift, let it drift, let it drift. Does it have to come to me? Never mind, never mind, never mind. Cancel it, cancel it, cancel it. Alright, so we'll go from here. There we go. I thought it maybe had to go to the drop zone, but maybe I was wrong. Oh, it does have to go to the drop zone. So how do I slow it down? Oh, because it's got like a maximum speed that I can send it at. Oh, you can do like a little one right there. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Well, I've got two minutes left to fiddle around with this. Oh, no, and I missed that one. Okay. 
I don't want to go that hard in the paint though. That might be too much. I just want to give it like a little bit right here. There you go. There you go. There you go. Perfect. We got it. The container itself is worth a study as well. All right, give it a look then. I really do feel as though like if we wanted this to be a successful plan for reigniting the human race and kill all the aliens, I, I do think that our main ship should have the ability to replicate more drones, and then not only that, it should have the ability to replicate drones that also handle the AI of the other drones, because like there's got to be like a mainframe computer or something, right, that's controlling all the decision making for each of the drones and like their pathing and whatnot, and eventually if you want to have more drones, which is the ultimate goal here, you're going to need more minds to control more drones. Or like more RAM effectively and so like why don't we just make some drones that are basically like little RAM dims and then other drones that are like the active fingers and toes and if we can replicate both of those two things at will from the materials we get out of asteroids and whatnot dude there's no stopping us we literally can't lose Sense a show of warship being attacked by someone else? I'm translating this new faction's language. Hopefully, we have more luck with them. Unknown vessel, this is the Argo. Do not fire. We come in peace. Of course you are. Just like the last ship that pretended not to be hostile. We will not fall for the same Thor trick twice. I feel like we have a really serious issue with asteroids here. Like I'm guessing that's what they want right there is for me to like kind of like push asteroids into these dudes. He is pretty fast. The lasers. If the swarm diminishes, they will punch right through. There's more of them warping in. Yeah, that's not great. I would definitely prefer that that not be the case. Oh, dude, I could have fired that asteroid at him. Oh, no, dude. Okay, uh, draw some of that up right there. Let me get a few more of these. Let me block these guys off here. Yeah, just kind of throw everything you have at them. And then we'll try to get as much blocked as possible. Oh, apparently the Argo is about to explode. Okay, those guys are pretty gnarly. Like, they killed me, like, instantly, dude. Like, it doesn't help that during a cutscene I was getting hit with asteroids, so that would be something you'd want to balance out, too. We can restart the battle for sure, but, like, while I was, like, sitting in place over here watching dialogue, I was getting hit with asteroids that were knocking off, like, 10% of my health, too. Being attacked by someone else? I'm translating this new faction's language. Hopefully we have more luck with them. I'm going to wait till these go by, and I'm not going to engage until I've got kind of this asteroid field out from around me. One second. I want to find, like, a good open saw. Yeah, and like, vessel, right there will the probably order. work. Do not fire. We come in peace. Of course you are. Just like the last ship that pretended not to be hostile. We will not fall for the same fall. We'll put up shields twice. kind of around here. I'm going to suggest... Oh, wow, we can ram those together? That's pretty cool. Can I apply an impulse to him? Oh, I can. I can kind of, like, knock him back. Nice, dude. Okay. Oh, the asteroids got destroyed, man. I didn't want that to happen. Oh, no, 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 no. Push that away. Yeah, we, like, actively have to push that away. Otherwise, bad things are going to happen. Beware of their lasers. If the swarm diminishes, they will punch right through. There's okay, I keep trying to drag and drop. I don't want to drag and drop. But what I do need... Is for, like, all of this to... Oh, it didn't work! Yeah, I need all these asteroids to go elsewhere. That's what I really need. Oh, this is getting kind of intense, dude. It is getting kind of intense. All right, put that up. 
We'll throw that out right there. There's another one down. Throw that out right there. Throw that right there. Just keep us covered. Keep us covered. Keep us covered. That's all that matters. Like, they're going to try and whittle through. We're going to do what we do. He's actually moving pretty fast with transit time. Oh, that didn't work. I thought it might, but it didn't. Okay, this guy's holding still, so we'll just whack him. Oh, apparently we don't have enough impact to, like, move them around. Yeah, you've got to have, like, more impact, I guess. Uh, we are taking a bit more of a scuffing here than I would like. We have to be mindful of those heavy lasers. Perhaps we can disrupt them with a cannonball attack. And yeah, I don't know about that, man. Lasers. This is kind of a, a, a marked escalation in difficulty and multitasking. Like, the asteroids are only affecting me. They're not affecting the enemy, like, at all. Like, the enemy doesn't seem to care about them whatsoever. So, like, I've got to defend myself from moving enemies while attacking moving enemies and also knocking away asteroids. Bro, it's the third mission. Relax. This is not that serious, cousin. This is not that serious. We got our health back, though, so at least the game showed some mercy on us. Yeah, you guys maybe go attack that guy, possibly. Oh, no. I've really got to get... Oh, am I dead again? Okay, so let's give this another shot right here. Like, this is a tough one. I've had to run this back a couple of times now. It's probably been about 10, 15 attempts. I found that if you jump these guys with a bunch of spikes, the second they come out, you can kill them before they activate. And that's my way to get through, like, the earliest phase without taking any damage. The real problem I'm running into is that the meteorites, dude. There's so many meteorites, and it takes, the, it takes your little drones a while in order to line up. To knock, the, to knock the asteroids out of the way. And while you're focusing on that, these little dudes right here are just annihilating you on the way in. I think we can take care of those two before they even get close. Then we can focus all of our efforts on the ones down there to the southeast. And so that'll help out a little bit. Oh no, dude, I dragged the wrong tool. I dragged the wrong tool. I need shields up, shields up. Okay, just throw everything we have at these dudes. They're running into meteors. We actually have a relatively clear meteor field right now, so we might be okay. Just keep on drilling them. Just everything we have. Be mindful of those heavy lasers. Okay, so now with the heavy laser guy, like it doesn't shoot a laser yet because it's still in development, but basically he does like this little draw-in thing, and we got to knock him back with the cannonball attack whenever he does it. That's what killed me last time is that there's no laser that he shoots at you. It's just like he charges up, and then you take a bunch of damage. So I'm assuming they don't have the graphic in yet, and so that's what threw me for a loop. But anyways, with these guys right here, we're going to knock him, and then we're going to hit him a couple times, knock him, hit him a couple times, knock him, so on and so forth. But I struggled with this level. I really sincerely did. This is a hard level. If this is the amount of micromanagement the game expects from me, I think it's going to massively overestimate my intellect and my ability to hang. I think the game's just going to be too too manly and have too much chest hair for me. Foof. Man, what a headache. That mission took me probably like 15, 20 tries, dude. That was a really, really hard mission. And really, honestly, the only way I could find a power through it was to like jump them as they came in, dude. Like, that's... I had to make some edits right there. Apparently, we've got the soil composition is so different, it's unusable. We found a strange energy reading that really set off some of the sphere's memory encoding, unveiling some secrets. Kinetic charge. Okay. I mean, really, the problem, I think, was the meteors, dude. The meteors just hit you for free damage, and the bigger meteors, you can't move them with the cannonball. The cannonball goes straight through it, and it just stays there. And so, like, if you got one of those big meteors that's coming in on your ship right there, it's just, like, free damage for the game, basically. There's not a whole lot you could do to, like, dissuade it from happening. We've got some Dashons, apparently, are the name of those guys. Uh, apparently, we've got a new module. We've got a Cascade Laser. Okay. Oh, nice. So we actually get like a like a display of our ship over here where we can kind of like fiddle around with the different modules. And there you go. We got a cascade laser now. Apparently, maybe it auto targets the fastest enemy. Uh, I don't hopefully I don't have to fire. There's already enough. There's so many there's so many micromanagey things that I'm doing already that hopefully I don't have to do anything with it. I will 100 percent when this comes out, prioritize doing anything that's automated because just in between blocking stuff and like putting out little tendrils and whatnot, you don't really have a whole lot of opportunities to deal with a whole lot of other problems. That's what made the meteors in the last mission such we'll a big jump issue. Right into an ongoing battle. With a bit of luck, they'll ignore us and we can scan for suitable planets without any interference. 
Yeah, that's a terrible idea. Let's never do that. Who made you my advisor? That's an awful idea. Let's... No. Let me just walk through this active, engaged battlefield. Please. Just, like, pray that nobody decides to, like, take a couple pot shots at me just in case. Oh, well, apparently it's over then. Okay. So we had a bit of a twist of fate. I didn't get to try out the Cascade laser, though. I was really excited about the Cascade laser. Ah, well, this is Drone Swarm. You can get the game down below if you want to play the demo for yourself. Uh, it's definitely an interesting concept. I'm definitely excited about it. Like, I can't wait to give it a go uh, once it's, like, fully balanced and released and tested and everything else. I, I think it's an interesting concept that they're playing around with. My name is Splattercat. I'll see you all next time. Thank you for being here. Check out the Discord if you wanted to connect up with the rest of the community. And then also check out my Twitch stream. Bye, everybody.